i think that we do influence people to some degree in all areas of life just like they may want to smoke a cigarette because they see but but i don't really believe in my heart that we are responsible for a child picking up a cigarette Despite the tobacco industry's 1989 voluntary ban on paid product placements in movies and the 1998 Master Tobacco Settlement Agreement that bars marketing tobacco to youth, smoking in Hollywood has actually increased. Young people watching people smoke on film are, is a good advertisement for them to smoke. You know, I have a big problem with the rating system because I dare you to show me somebody uh, who, because somebody used bad language in a movie, uh, just hurt, you know, hurt their lives. You know, somehow their lives were hurt. You know, they may wind up using a bad word, whatever. Nobody got hurt by that. But people do get hurt by smoking cigarettes. We surveyed adolescents 10 to 14 years of age at 14 middle schools in northern New England. We asked the students about their movie viewing, their smoking behavior, and other factors related to smoking. Children of non-smoking parents appear to be particularly susceptible to the influence of movie smoking, indicating that modeling non-smoking behavior in the home is not enough to prevent children from initiating the behavior. We conclude that eliminating or reducing adolescents' exposure to smoking in movies could significantly reduce the number of adolescents who initiate smoking. I don't really believe in my heart that we are responsible for a child picking up a cigarette. Dean Martin, he did smoke all the time. And that whole cool look of him, you know, real, I think that had an effect on, on me and my peers at that time. We were all smokers as kids. So we don't want to stand by while the industry headquartered in our backyard promotes an addictive product that helps kills millions of people nationwide. Tobacco is the leading cause of preventable death in the United States. first thing we have recommended is an R rating for smoking. This would be a simple change to the existing rating system that the MPAA has had for years, and just having an R rating for smoking would cut the dose and the effect by about 60%. An R rating for smoking in the movies would probably prevent about 200,000 kids a year from starting to smoke. It would not say to Hollywood, you cannot put smoking in the movies. It would just say to Hollywood, we're going to treat smoking as seriously as we treat using the word f If you use the F word once in a sexual context, you get an R rating. That has not destroyed Hollywood. That has not prevented people from making excellent movies. It, is, it leaves the choice with the people making the movies. We'd like to see a certification at the end of the movie that nobody got paid off. Everybody says they're not getting paid off. We'd like to see it certified. If Hollywood is getting money to deliver 390,000 kids to the tobacco industry every year because they're still getting paid for it, they're corrupt. If they're doing it for free, they're stupid. We'd like to see an into brand identification. If you look at the classic movies up until about the 70s, there was no brand identification. It started when the big payoff started. And the last thing is to run an anti-smoking ad before any movie that has smoking in it. There's good research to show that neutralizes the pro-tobacco effect without affecting how much people like the movie.
New York State say they want to give Hollywood a reality check when it comes to teen smoking. The group is called Reality Check. They're part of a grassroots movement in all 62 counties in New York State. They're kicking off an effort aimed at getting their message to the entertainment industry and other teens because they believe it promotes smoking in youth. What we try and do is inform teenagers of the devious tactics that tobacco companies use to get them to try and smoke, and hopefully that will lead to them not smoking. That's, that's our goal.